Hello, welcome to part 4 of electromagnetic induction. In this video, I shall explain the solution of question number 6.2 of page 230 from NCRT physics textbook part 1. So it would be better if you have the book with the question in front of you. Please note the page number once again. The question is on page 230. The part A of question 2 says that using Lenz's law, we need to find the direction of current in the coil once the coil is stretched from the irregular shape to form a circle. So as we have noticed, the magnetic field in which the coil is kept is given by crosses. This means that the, there is flux into the page or the magnetic field lines enter into the page. So as we all know that the magnetic lines of force move from north to south. So if there is a north polarity in the coil, that means that the flux lines are coming out and hence they are given by dots. And if there is a north polarity, that means the current in the coil is in the anti-clockwise direction. Since the lines of force move from north pole to south pole, again, if there is a south polarity in the coil, that means that the lines of force enter into the page and are given by crosses if there is a south polarity and hence the current in that case moves in the clockwise direction. Now coming back to the question, in this question the irregular shape of the coil A, B, C, D is stretched to form a circular loop A, B, C, D. So as we see the original area A1 becomes A2 and A2 being greater than A1 the flux into the into through the loop increases because the area A2 is greater than A1. Now since flux into is increased to counter this there has to be flux out through the coil. A flux out, as we noticed, as we had seen earlier, the flux out can be induced if there is a north polarity in the coil. Hence, because there is a north polarity, the current in the coil will move in the anti-clockwise direction that is from A, D, C, D. Now coming to part B of the same question. In this question, again using Lenz's law, we need to find the direction of current in the wire if the circular loop A, B, C, D is drawn into a narrow straight wire A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. So the new shape is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. And we have noticed that the circular loop was placed in a magnetic field shown by dots. This means that the field lines are coming out of the page. In other words, they are flux out. So once the shape from circular, the circular loop is changed into this narrow wire, area A1 changes to area A2. And as we see, A2 is less than area 1, A1. And hence, the flux out decreases. Hence, the direction of current in the new shape should be A dash, in the new shape A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash should be such as to counter this decrease of flux out. 
so it has to produce more flux out it has to more produce more flow flux out as given by this orange dots to produce more flux out there has to be a north polarity and hence the direction of current in the new shape should be in the anti clockwise direction in case of any clarifications please log on to www.olympiatester.com/mentor thank you